Spa makeover continues here in the back room at CTV Morning Live. How's your morning going so far, Gail? Excellent. Yeah. What has been the highlight? And I know <laughs> the coffee is good, but apart from the coffee, what else has been fun? Just a whole new experience, having them being pampered like this. It's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. So, okay, so we've done the cut and we popped the Velcro rollers in. I was saying, we haven't used these in quite some time. So when we do the uh, final reveal, reveal at the end of the show, we're going to talk to David about why he uh, chose that route because I like it. I think it's easy. It's really quick. I, I think it's great. Anyway, so we'll talk to him about why he chose to do that with you. But uh, makeup. We're now uh, working with makeup with a rat. Do you normally wear makeup? Not, not usually, no. Okay, so how, how did you feel about applying it for today? Do you have anything against it, or you just don't typically wear it? No, I just uh, I have nothing against it. I just don't typically wear it, and when I used to wear mascara, I'd always rub my eye, and I'd look like a raccoon, so. <laughs> I'm so bad for that, too. You forget you have it on. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is you have gorgeous blue eyes, so I have a feeling that Arassi will probably try and play that up. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Yourself? Good. Nice yeah. to see you. What are we going to do with Gail? Well, the, um, I started with the foundation. Mm -hmm. I uh, like I shaped her eyebrows because uh, her eyebrows are really, really blonde. So they they really don't see. They don't uh, give any kind of definition to her face expression. So we started with that. Uh, the shaping the face too. So and she can have like a a different shape of her face. Like she could see the different tricks that she could do with mm -hmm. makeup. Like just a couple of things that, um, like. Not with the mascara, but maybe if she doesn't like the mascara, she could just eyeliner. She, she gives definition for the eyes, too. Is it okay to put on eyeliner if you're not going to apply mascara as well? Well, a lot of people use the mascara to give that, you know, definition to the eye. Like, to, you know, make that line that, mm -hmm. that gives that expression to the eye. Yeah, close your eye for a second, Gail. I know we've got a, a light liner on here. Are you going with, uh, like, a light black, eh? Yeah, I, I put black because I want to make the the blue from her eyes to outstand a lot. Like you I, can open them now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to go uh, eyeliner, and then uh, for day to day, would you recommend maybe something like a tinted moisturizer for Gail? Yeah, that's what I've uh, like pretty much recommending like the last few shows. The mm -hmm. beauty bombs are excellent for people who doesn't like to wear like a heavy foundation. Yeah. Or a, they don't like, like you know, wear makeup. Mm -hmm. But at least you have like a tinted moisturizer, uh, a moisturizer uh, that has SPF uh, protection and it evens the skin tone. Okay. And a great idea. We had makeup artist uh, Melody Yafalicha on the show uh, last week, and she was saying that if you don't want to go out and buy a tinted moisturizer because if you don't know if it's going to work yeah. for you, that is it true? You can combine a little bit of liquid uh, foundation yes. with one of your favorite moisturizers that has yes. SPF. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's a beauty bomb. Right. It's a moisturizer with a little bit of foundation. Okay. So they can, you know, like measure the thing that. The beauty about the beauty balance mm -hmm. is that you don't need to find exactly your skin tone that yeah. matches your skin. All of them, pretty much, they blend in your skin. It doesn't matter because normally they have like two or three different shades. Yeah. And, like there's so many different lines. So what they do is they blend in, the, in your skin. They match the skin tone. Got to go, but I'll let you get to, back to work a few minutes before 9 o'clock. We will do uh, the big reveal and show Gail's before and after. And we'll also give away a $100 gift certificate to hold spa to one lucky viewer. So make sure you stick around for that. Now, Melissa Lamb uh, headed out to Merrick Find our Holt's final reveal. reveal. Gail has been uh, in the green room throughout the morning, spending the uh, day with uh, makeup artists and hairstylists from Holt's. The hair looks so good. Are you happy? I Oh my gosh, David, you've done such a wonderful job. Uh, so, uh, for those who may have missed our conversation earlier in the morning, you've had, a, you've had an interesting yet very tough life. You've made it through a, a breast cancer twice. Yes. That's a bit, a, a bit of a struggle. That's an understatement. My gosh. Did you lose your hair both times? Yes. Yes. So, how many years of regrowth is this? This is probably about uh, seven years right seven years so to put your hair in David's hands and trust that he would do something uh, that you would like I mean is phenomenal you've done such a great job David we were talking about the use of velcro rollers earlier yes. why did you decide to use them with Gail well what I use I use the nioxin Dynamax to blow up the cuticles so yep. and get a lot of volume going so then when I blow dried her hair I just wanted to set it so that it would stay fluffed up so yep. that's why I use a, the velcro rollers okay so you just wait a little bit and when it cools down then it gives you that really and it actually shapes the hair too yeah. at the same time 
So yeah, so I think it, the products plus the Velcro and the haircut just really enhances her hair. Yeah. And you know, with, especially with the little highlights and lowlights that we put in there, it just blends in so she doesn't look as great. Mm -hmm. And Arati did such a great job with your makeup. It's very natural yet accentuates your blue eyes and you look great. Do you want to see the before and after? I do. Okay, so Gail, uh, smile into camera three and we'll see your before and after shot. Oh, wow. I love it. I mean, like, your hair looks great in the before shot, but the shape goes so well with your face. Yeah, you guys are so good at yeah. taking our, you know, the client and recognizing what will work well for them, David. That's, uh, that's really great. Thank you. Uh, listen, do you want to give away a gift certificate to somebody at home? Because not everybody gets to be pampered like you, yeah. Uh, so if you email us at ottawacontest.ctv.ca, uh, we'll award one lucky viewer with a $100 gift certificate to go to Bolt Spa and get their hair done as well. So email us in at ottawacontest.ctv.ca. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. It was a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, no, it was great. Thank you. David, so nice to see you again. You. We'll shake hands after the, the interview. but. Great job. Thank you so that much. That looks really great. Request David when you go into a whole spot. All right, so uh, that's it for today's Monday.